Hey everybody and what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be doing is adding a ground to our game. So at the moment when we play our game, you know, we've got this tank here and we've got this, you know, barrier here. But there's there's no like ground and really our our explosion is occurring below our tank. <laughs> Um, so these are like floating tanks, which, you know, that's totally a possibility in the future. Um, but for now, I think it'd be wise for us to go ahead and add a, like, ground to the game. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, let's just add ground. The ground isn't going to change at all in this game. So let's just say, uh, we add, uh, ground, ground underscore height here. And... Um, I'm not really sure how many pixels up the tank is, but we'll find out soon enough. So let's make the ground height 20 for now. Um, we'll probably have to adjust that, but we'll make it 20 for now. So then we're going to scroll all the way down um, to basically the fire shell function. So what are all the things that have to change when we move the ground up? You have to kind of think about these things. Well, for the most part, not much. Um, the tank doesn't need to change because the tank doesn't know where the ground is anyways. Um, the barrier doesn't really need to change because like you could draw the barrier on top of the ground if you want, but you can also just draw the ground right over the barrier and it'll look like you've drawn the barrier right over the ground, you know. Uh, and then finally, the, really the only thing that needs to be changed is where we're exploding because we're exploding under under the tank. So. Uh, what we'll do now is we've got fire shell here um, and basically we ask the question if the starting shell, because this is the little block of text that's asking if the shell has hit the ground. So basically if um, if that is greater than display height minus the ground underscore height then we'd want to run uh, the ground height functionality there. Um, and then we also need to uh, subtract, let's see, so this is display height, right? We need to say, because this is ba well, basically what we're saying here is that like this is where the hit is occurring. So times display height, and then we will do minus ground height there. And then also display height um, minus ground height again. So that's like where the impact is, so that's where it's going to draw the explosion. So um, good enough. Uh, that should be all we need to change there. And now what we want to do is actually draw the draw the ground on our um, on our game. So uh, what we want to do is scroll all the way down. And basically after all of this code then you've got the game display dot fill dot white. Basically anything after that, we can go ahead and draw the ground. Um, but I would recommend that we draw the ground after the barrier. That way it's like over the barrier a little bit. So then what we can do is we can go game. Um, if you remember, there's two ways that we could do this. We could use pygame dot draw dot rect and draw a rectangle. Totally fine. Or we can actually, since it's such a large amount of space that we're going to use up anyways, um, we can use dot fill. Because as I was telling you, you can use dot fill to actually do any rectangle. So, um, and if you remember dot fill, we can actually do uh, graphics acceleration on it, but we're not going to be getting into that. But still, um, I'll show you that anyways again. So we would do game display dot fill, and then we would say green, but we just add another parameter here, which is rect. And here you give the rect of x, y width height, basically. So it would be zero comma, and then display, display underscore height minus um, the ground underscore height. And then you would have, um, let's see, zero, display height minus ground height and then you would have uh, display underscore width so the whole width and then ground underscore height so x y 
So like x, y, and like these are the starting points, so the top left, x, y, and then the width is display width, and height, ground height, done. So now let's go ahead and save and run that, play, and you can see that there is our ground. It's not quite making it to our tank yet, but if we fire, you'll see it, it's exploding on the ground. So that's fabulous. And then also on the barrier if we hit it. But we know we had to bring the ground up a little bit. So 20 was a little more than half. So I'm going to vote for uh, 35. We'll see if that does it for us. So all the way to the top, ground height, 35. Let's see how that works out. Oh man, what a perfect guess. My goodness, I'm proud of myself. Fire, no. There we go, nice shot, man. Okay, so now we've got a tank, we've got a ground. Um, we're obviously missing uh, a very major, major and integral part of our game, however, uh, and that is an enemy tank. <laughs> So in the coming videos, that's, pro that's what we're going to have to be covering next because we're just a very lonely player at the moment. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned in the next video.